This is a wonderful uh, painting of TJ that uh, Gay and Rob uh, had commissioned years ago. And Gay always tells the story about how the, the English artist came to Australia and initially he didn't want to, Tommy didn't want the painting completed uh, in the form that the, the painter did because oh. he said he wouldn't take off his hat. Painter said, I've, I've painted heads of state and racing royalty throughout the world, but you must take off your hat. And TJ said, well, I'm not taking off my hat for anybody. Right. And Gay tells the story about how uh, Rob had to uh, mediate with the painter and say, please come back, please come back, don't go back to England. So uh, you'll see that he has his trainer's badge and his, yeah. his MBE. Gay's in the background. Yeah. And uh, Valerie used to say, TJ's... My Valerie would say he has his arm down to the right hand side because he had uh, a sprained wrist. Right. So uh, uh, that's why he doesn't have his hand holding onto the binoculars uh, uh, in, that, uh, in that fashion. That's fantastic that, uh, mm -hmm. that you've been able to, yeah, that the room's been put together and that naturally there's TJ's uh, elevation as a legend in the Hall of Fame just yes. sitting there proudly at the moment. And some great trophies here, the Australian Marvelous, Derby. Aren't they? And fantastic. Gay's uh, great horses. Uh, yeah. Grand Army, currently her highest stakes earner, nearly six million, uh, dance hero. This is a very special piece that uh, Rob Waterhouse acquired um, and I understand it's, uh, it represents the original scales from Newmarket in England. I don't know necessarily that the little uh, cushion <laughs> that says horse lovers are stable people came with at the time but it's really sweet and uh, it, uh, it's, it's a nice piece to have here in the TJ room, painting of Tommy as a jockey. He used to say, you could tell very early on I wasn't going to be a great jockey. And uh, some rather wonderful pieces here from different eras. I remember um, when the Queen came to open the new grandstand here at Randwick, and I said, what did the Queen say? And he said, well, Mr Smith, I backed your horse because they told me you're the best trainer in the world. And I said, and how did you respond? And he said, that's correct, ma'am. <laughs> Which I thought was wonderful. God, you know? I love him. And, and this is Bounding Away. What which a great, I, I think was, great filly. If choose. not his all-time favourite, uh, very close to, I'm sure, because he bred her and owned her and trained her. And she was quite remarkable. She uh, won the, the uh, early two-year-old races and then went on to win at the uh, win the Oaks. And just an amazing, amazing mare. This is, of course, the great Tullock that everybody knows about and Kingston Town. Um, he was my particular favourite. Yes, he's a he very was, young boy. I used to love him, but... Uh, this is this sort of memorabilia for this. This, should, this is like an Australian uh, museum, it Australian really, racing museum, yes, isn't it? Yes, absolutely. You know, you go back over the history of, of Tullock Lodge, and a lot of the um, the racing, the famous racing movies have part been part filmed here because the stables are so historic. People come to Randwick and they open the door here and can't believe when they, the garage door and the stable door opens that there are 80 horses trained here right in the middle of the city, not yeah. on a race course. So it's a very special, special place. And, place. and the way that I think that this whole room uh, has been funded. Yes. Well, that's the very famous <laughs> trifecta in 2001. Gay trifected the slipper. And John Singleton uh, was one of the owners, of course, of, of the great mayor Ha Ha. And he said to, to Gay sometime before, I'm going to run uh, the horse in Rob Ferguson's colours uh, because I have another filly in the race and she will carry my colours. When the filly came charging down the outside and got to the lead for about a second and a half, we didn't know it was her. <laughs> and it was only when I saw Jimmy Cassidy's red gloves, I said, that's Jimmy Cassidy, it's Ha Ha. You won the slipper. Actually, it's a trifecta. Yeah. And, uh, and so it was, and about six months later Gay said, I'm going to use the funds from the painting to redevelop this room. I love this photo. It, it was sent to uh, Gay's father in 1997 by a gentleman in Canberra, and he had prepared it as a poster from an original Kodachrome slide, and he used to say, uh, you know, when you uh, review something like this, it doesn't only reflect Tullock, coming back to scale after the derby, but it also uh, it, it includes, I guess, a, a cross-section of the population, all ages, and the adulation of the horse. The stewards are looking out from the tower. They've seen something really special. Uh, wind, which is <coughs> often apparent on a race course, all the roses at Flemington, and it's a really special piece when you think about it. And it was actually taken, this photograph was taken, by a 14-year-old boy at the time, so a great Tullock fan, which was really special. <laughs>